Welcome to Search Talk Live with search engine optimization and marketing experts Robert O'Haver and Caleb McKelvin, powered by the Robert Palmer family of companies. All right, welcome back to Search Talk Live. Last time we left you was election day. Yeah, buddy. And now we have a new president. Yep. Election day is over. And riots and all <laughs> Oh, man. Well, we're not going to talk about politics <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, we no, are no. talking about our favorite stuff, which is the realm of digital marketing and SEO. Yeah. Those of you that have been listening to the show for a while, I want to thank you for your support and spreading the word about the show because yeah. uh, we have gradually grown uh, and, and all of a sudden exploded into growth as far as listeners. And like uh, just on Sprecher alone, we have 3,000 followers that are subscribing to the to yep. Sprecher anyway. I'm sure we got a lot more than that. But then uh, over to almost 25,000 plays of our show. Yeah. It's hard that's, to grasp. That's <laughs> insane. I can't believe people want to listen to our voice that much. But yeah, yeah. man, it's awesome. We definitely appreciate it. Uh, we always talk about our journey and our story, which most of you know that. But uh, we won't go into that. But uh, we really appreciate everybody supporting the show being a part of everything we're doing on tuesdays for this long it's been a year and a half now and uh, about to close out 2016 with a bang yeah and start 2017 now those of you just tuning in for the first time search talk live is a digital marketing podcast we talk everything digital if it's social media if it's content marketing uh anything that can help you as a webmaster or agency grow that business and one of the things we're going to talk about today i think is a excellent topic uh which is we're going to talk about how you can get leads just some ideas some tips on things you can do to grow your business as a whole and, and bring in those clients and, and kind of a step-by-step -step, whether you're just starting out an agency or you're just a consultant trying to grow into an agency yeah those type of things you know we want to kind of give a little flavor to everybody yeah absolutely and this is a this is a good topic. Uh, it's one that you and I have experienced, yeah. both being successful and unsuccessful. And I think being unsuccessful is where a lot of people stand, and it's where you can learn the most, really. It's where you start, yeah. Yeah, it's where you, you learn the most, and it's a struggle. It's a daily struggle. It's a grind, so to speak. You know, get your hustle on, as a lot of people like to say. It, it is a hustle. It <laughs> is. It's a hustle, man. And, uh, you know, you listen to the great Gary V, who is just absolutely exploded he always talks about the hustle and everything like that yeah and it really is man and uh it's a day in day in out day in day out grind and uh you know we've experienced it and uh getting those leads getting those clients it's tough yeah yeah and some you have to turn away some you do have to turn away that's the listen. tough part and that's one we have to <laughs> that's you know one of the parts we have to dive into is you have to actually turn some away which some people might be thinking, well, I can't turn anybody away. There's nobody I can actually turn away. I need it. Like, I need it. Some you don't need. And yeah. it's really deciding on and being able to to really understand who's going to be a good client for you and who's not. So. Yeah. Yeah. I, in fact, I I can tell you a story right now. I, um, I had a friend of mine that has an agency. He approached me and said, hey, Robert, do you want to help me out with this one? And after evaluating, I'm like, this is going to be a nightmare. Yeah. And I, I, you know, I, I'm sorry. I would love to help you out, but I can see where this is where this is going, and and just from experiencing this in the past, I, you know, I can just get that feeling when I look at a website, uh, and what it needs and and all that stuff. But anyway, three weeks later, this guy comes back to me, and he's like, Robert, you were right. This is the worst client I've ever had. Right, right. So, I mean, it's just, he goes, I can see why you didn't take it. And, you know, and I explained to him what my thoughts were on it. But, um, you know, it, 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 you know, just sometimes you have that feeling. Well, when you find people in that situation where you can just take a look like you see and just see that uh, this is a huge mess, complete huge mess, nine times out of ten, they're not going to want to take the steps to actually correct what they have, which yeah. sometimes can be a complete overhaul, uh, and they don't want to make that investment or, you know, invest the money, invest the time into something like that. Yeah. They just want, you know, a quick fix or something like that. Or, you know, Hey, can you, can you work with what I have? Sometimes you can't. And they don't, they don't want to go outside the box and really, really do what they need to do. And, uh, you know, I've encountered that just like you said, you've encountered that and those yeah. aren't the best situations for you. Yeah. And I've had, uh, I mean, I've had clients where, they pay me for my advice and then they go 
I don't like your advice. And you know, the, the, the thing I have a rule for, I, I'm just like straight up, look, this is how it is. This is what my suggestions are. I mean, if you don't like it, go somewhere else. Right. <laughs> Basically, I don't mean to be me and I'll say that to them, but uh, in the same sense as if they hired you for your professional advice and then they don't take it, then, you know, yeah, I'm not going to do it for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's not much you can do yeah. for them. Absolutely. Well, if you would like to get questions in on the show, if you would like to possibly provide some of your uh, insight and opinion on the topic today, which is, of course, building your uh, agency, generating those leads, you can do it on Twitter using hashtag Search Talk Live. No guest today. It's just O'Haver and I just like talking old times. like old times. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, and this is a good topic. And like I said, if you have any questions, please uh, send them on in. Hashtag Search Talk Live or through email. Caleb at Search Talk Live or Robert at Search Talk Live. Uh, and I'm excited about today's topic because, uh, you know, it, you've been doing this longer than I have. Of course, you've been in the industry a lot longer than I have. Yeah. So you have a lot of experience. You've encountered a lot of situations. I'm anxious to kind of get your uh, your professional feedback on kind of the things that you've experienced, uh, especially from a good client to a bad client kind of standpoint and also uh, the generating the lead standpoint. Um, and so... Because I think our audience would like to to hear a lot about that. Let's dive into the actually generating the leads. Because a lot of people, it's kind of a ghost town. Yeah. They don't know where to start, how to start. You know, they don't necessarily want to go to friends and family and stuff like that to get things <laughs> done. They actually want to generate those those leads and, and build that business. Um, where where are we starting? Well, I'm going to say from the basics. I mean, from the very beginning, like when you're when you're going out to find leads. They, I mean, obviously, you got to have a website. That's base one line. <laughs> right. Yeah, absolutely. But we're going to skip that part. But to go out and actually find clients in your local area, uh, the main thing I would suggest is invest some time in the wow factor, I like to say. Like, you know, put together a good case study. Uh, maybe get a graphics artist involved. I mean, you can go to Fiverr and get a graphics artist to do something some really kind of cool things for five bucks, but um, put together some good case studies that you can give to your clients in a PDF format or print out, and then also put together uh, a good presentation of your business. You know, you're, you're out selling them. You want to, um, to give them that wow factor. Yeah. I mean, you want to have all your ducks in a row. You want to have, uh, you know, business cards, obviously, um, some flyers on your company and information. Everybody remember how last week we were talking about storytelling, tell the story about your business and how you got started in it. You know, I know it sounds goofy and, and kind of lame, but it's true. People love that information, that stuff. Yeah. And, and if you, you give it to them straight and in a, in a nice format, maybe having a folder with your card attached inside, um, uh, it just overall business services you offer, whether it be SEO or content marketing or social media, whatever it may be, add those things. Yeah. Um, and then once you have that together, then you're ready to go on the road, so to speak. <laughs> right, right. Well, I mean, uh, you know, this is, this is kind of starting from the ground level, you know, establishing yourself, uh, putting those things together. That's kind of your, your basic marketing material because yeah. a lot of the stuff you do on the ground is, uh, you know, you're going to start out doing things on the ground, whether it's the networking, mm -hmm. whether it's the going out and reaching, shaking yep. hands, kissing babies, as I like <laughs> to say, you know, uh, you know, I was listening to, uh, I think it was a podcast earlier and they were kind of talking about the similar situation. He said, uh, every time he started, uh, you know, he started his business, he was marketing 24 seven, whether mm -hmm. he was wearing his t-shirts, whether he was handing out business cards, but he always had his material on him. Yeah. And you know, that's kind of what you have to do. Oh yeah. You know, and that's kind of where we're starting right there. And there's so many opportunities out there from an agency standpoint to go out and network, whether it's at conferences, uh, you know, whatever it may be, uh, be there, just be there, introduce yourself. And that's kind of the start of relationship building is yeah. when you can actually get in front of somebody and talk to them and communicate with them and, and, you know, be a human, so to speak with them, it's, it's going to go a long way in helping generate those leads and, and, and getting that business. Yeah. I guess your, my point was with that material, you want to sell yourself, show that you know what you're talking about. And, and so there's so many things that you can do that cost little or nothing to do this. For example, 
me and Caleb, we do a podcast. Yeah. Uh, you can do videos on SEO or, or if you, maybe if you're shying from the camera, you can do the, uh, you know, the podcast thing, or you can just do some, some kind of audio thing. It doesn't have to be a podcast. You can just once a month, throw out something, tips and tricks or something. Yeah. Um, show yourself in his authority, you know, even in social media, you can do that. Um, you know, there, there are people out there looking for your services. I can't tell you how many clients I get from Twitter and it's not because, you can ask anybody that follows me. I never promote myself. It's they come naturally because they know you as an authority in the industry. Yeah. Um, they've seen your videos. They've seen, I mean, I have videos, I have podcasts, we have, uh, we do interviews, we do, you know, all kinds of stuff. We speak, uh, at different conferences, we do all kinds of things. And, and that in the area in the industry, I mean, you know, we go to events um, you know, one of the great things I've found, um, let's say in Orlando, we have a home improvements, uh, show every month. Mm -hmm. What do you do when you go, you go to these things, talk to the business owners. The, half the time, the owner of the company is sitting right there at the booth, right? Bam. Give them your card. If they're interested, they'll call you or you can get their number and call them. That's, it's, that's the better way to, to kind of be more, a little more aggressive toward yeah. it. Yeah. Um, to get those clients, you can approach every booth if you wanted to. I mean, I wouldn't do that, but I mean, I'd be selective if you're specially is in, in an industry like a lawyer or, or a real estate agent, or you know, like, like I was just mentioning home improvements, you can do that. Um, I mean, those are great places to prospect. You can go to, uh, local events, um, as far as maybe, um, you know, those meetup groups, me and Caleb did that for a while. Um, yeah, we sure did. And we didn't get any clients when we did them, but later yeah. on, well, at those groups, people started calling us. Well, at those groups, it's just people starving for information. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I was listening. I'm always diving into podcasts, you know, since we have one. Sure. I'm on the podcast train here because I love what we do. I love what other people do. Uh, and it was actually one of Gary V's daily V things. He was talking to another marketing guy who, who he started out in digital marketing and doing the consulting thing. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, uh, and we'll say this and i'll say this right off the bat i guess we should have started this when we said this when we started the show is this is not easy it's not easy it takes no. it's hours and hours and hours of work to get yourself off the ground because this is such a competitive industry this is such a competitive niche uh and there's so many people trying to dip the toe in the water mm -hmm. um and it's a lot of people who uh, you know to be frank don't necessarily know what they're doing yeah they just kind of want to hop on the train make a quick buck you know, kind of work from home kind of thing. And it's not that easy. And so, you know, this is one of the best pieces of advice that I heard from this guy. I forgot his name, but, uh, it's something that I was trying to apply to my own, uh, work ethic is go find where your audience is, where they spend their time, yes. where other people are and be the smartest person there. Mm -hmm. If you can be the smartest person there providing the most value, people are going to come to you. They're going to, they're going to kind of gravitate towards that. So find out where they're spending their time, you know, what websites, what forums, where they're commenting, where they're engaging and be the smartest person there. And it sounds so simple, but it, and it kind of is, but it's difficult in the fact that you have to know what you're doing and you have to know what you're talking about. And if you spend time there, if you invest that time, people are going to notice, people are going to gravitate towards you. You're going to start conversations yeah, in, with people that want to be with what you're doing. Yeah. I mean, think out of the box, so to speak, but. Yeah. You know, I talked to an agency one time I saw at a boat show. I went to a boat show, and there was a digital marketing agency at the boat show. Now, how out of place is that, you right. know? But he told me he was going gangbusters. I mean, these people looking for boats, they're business owners. Right. They're buying forty, eighty, dollars $100,000 boats at this boat show. Right. I'm like, damn, that's either incredibly crazy or in, so intelligent to yeah. do something like right. that, you know? Right. Go find where they are. And, you know, I, 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 we've mentioned this place before. Use a site like Cora because yeah. people are just asking questions. Sure. They want to know. They're businesses. They're people that are asking questions, man. And from a content marketing standpoint, from a from a from just an intro, introducing <laughs> your brand and introducing your knowledge standpoint, sites like that are amazing because yeah. they want answers. And if you can be the smartest person there providing the most value – 
you're going to get that engagement. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's not like leads and leads are just going to funnel towards you, but you're getting the right people mm-hmm. that are looking for what you do, that are looking for your knowledge and looking right. for your expertise. Uh, yeah, so, you know, find those places, be the smartest person, uh, you know, engage with them, whether it's on blogs, whether it's on sites like Quora, whatever it may be. Uh, I think that's an excellent way to get started sure uh you know and it's it's that's a grind that and takes you can do time. that through content writing and all that good stuff yeah. too, just like your blog and everything as long as you're targeting the right, right. audience right and, and that, that's that's kind of a grind and, and content yeah. marketing is a big one i think yeah. that's where it's kind of a scary thing where a lot of people get started and are like well i don't have time to write i don't have time to put this stuff together i don't have time to do the outreach and all this kind of stuff you have to make the time yeah. I mean, you got to make the time. And one of the good things that you mentioned was the case study, I think, is a great piece of content. Not only oh, to, it's, huge. it's to introduce your brand to people, you know, here's what we do. You know, here's how we've helped. Uh, here's the results from that. Right. You know, it's it's a it's a not an in your face approach, but you're providing that information. You're providing that data. I've seen a lot of, of companies take that approach and it's successful for them. Uh, you know, because they're providing those statistics and people are seeing, you know, okay, here's the process. Here's what it looks like. It's something they can buy into. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a lot of reporting tools too. I like to use to, you know, let's say you get a, you get a client says, yeah, come talk to me. Let's, let's do this. Then, you know, there's, let's, let's look at this and see if it's something viable. What I'll do is, and it takes literally five seconds and this is a secret not a lot of people know. So if you take my advice on this, I guarantee it will help you, especially if you're in the SEO industry or paid advertising. Um, I like to use SpyFu. Now, this is just me, but I'll go to SpyFu and pull, you know, if I, I'll pull up the client's website on what's called a recon report. This thing is so detailed, white labeled. You just throw your logo on it it spits out this amazing report and it gives you soups and soup to nuts on what they're ranking for, what the opportunities they could rank for and how much traffic it'll bring, how much, um, what is it? The, uh, what it's worth as far as if you were to go pay for pay-per-click or something like that advertising, It gives you all those report, I mean, information right there in this report. And it's so detailed and there's a ton of information. I mean, the reaction I get with clients when I show them this report, you know, and A, you got to know the report. So you got to walk it from head to toe and walk them through it because it's, you know, people look at it and they're like, oh my God, (laughs) right, right. (laughs) what is this, you know? Um, But they think that you went and you did all this stuff and put all this stuff together and, and that you really shows the client. I mean, the report sells itself. Yeah. Um, as long as you explain it right and show them the, it'll show them ROI every month. It'll show them um, where they're at, where they can be possibility <coughs> and all this great stuff. I mean, it's just, I mean, you, I would check it out. Like I said, go to spy and check it out. I use it because it's a very simple tool it's it takes uh, just a few minutes to run the report and get it out and give it to your client along with your packet that you put together with your case studies yeah you walk in there man you are just loaded with bullets man right right and i'm glad you mentioned that because that's a uh, you got to talk about well how can you get people interested in what you're doing and I, yeah. this is one thing that i you know i've offered uh and and something like that maybe offering a free seo edit uh, audit you yeah. know auditing their you know hey sign up Get your audit for free. Yeah. Uh, You know, people are interested. They'll dive into something like that. Well, okay, you know, let's see where we stand. If you can provide them that detailed data, being like, look, you know, you're not. They think you spent hours on it, man. You're not not as good as you thought you were. You know, (laughs) you might be wanting to rank for this. You're not even on the map. Or you might think, you know, you're getting traffic from here. You know, you can provide them all that data. And that's the big part of this. Uh, But it also, I'm sorry, it also includes the competitive analysis. Yeah, right. So you got where your competitors rank with this stuff and how much money their, you know, their yeah. value is worth since they've gotten there. But I'm sorry, go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, no, you're good. I'm just saying like you're providing that value by providing that insight and it can be a, it can be an eye opening moment 
for that potential client, uh, which kind of puts you in that spot where like, okay, I gave you this information. Now I can help out. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, let's kind of do this together kind of thing. And, you know, if you get a chance, pull that report yourself and look at it. I mean, it, you, I think you can pull it uh, with just a basic account. But um, when you see it, they've also got videos that walk you through the report. And wh- I mean, it's good stuff. Yeah. Back in 2007, when I signed up for that company, you know, I, I didn't know about this stuff. And yeah. like I got into it and I'm like, holy cow. But every client I went to visit with that report and after I got to know it really well, I was closing them left and right. Right. It was, it was crazy. And I'm not a salesperson. Right. <laughs> but those things are important. I mean, any tools that can help you close a deal is is golden. And like I said, that report is so detailed. When they, you don't imply that you spent a lot of time on it. You just say, hey, look, I put this together for you. I know I was coming to see you. Here's... Here's where you rank for this. This is your, you know, your competitors and where they rank for this and how good they're doing, what they're comb- what they're bidding for in pay per click, all that stuff, man. It's right there, and it's just like, wow, you know, yep. it, it it gives you that wow factor, right? No, that's and a big one. No other company will do that. I mean, they'll give you, a, hey, yeah, here this and this, but the reporting is not. I think that's where the industry lacks a little bit. Yeah, no, but, I agree. Um, but definitely, and that report you can have run every month, shoot it over to your client, bam, everybody's happy as long as you're doing your work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, being transparent is a big part of it, providing, yeah. providing those reports. And, and that goes back to not only just getting the client, but keeping the client is, is super important. Yeah. I mean, obviously, everything you do, you want to make your clients happy because they're going to, you know, you piss them off, they're going to tell 50 people. You tell, you, you make them happy, they might tell five. Right. And that's all you need. <laughs> right. Oh, absolutely. Um, that's huge. Uh, you know, I kind of want to dive back into the content marketing kind of side of things because mm-hmm. I think that's what you have to understand as a new startup, as a new consultant, is nobody knows who you are. And so immediately asking somebody for something right off the bat for them to sign on with you, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and check you out right off the bat, it's not going to happen. I don't think you're going to have a good response rate no. with that. I think you have to start building a relationship with them you have to provide something off the bat i think you have to that's where kind of your content marketing plays a big role in that is you're providing that information provide that free information be that resource for them so they can come and they can start trusting what you're saying and and it's a pro you have to understand it's a sales funnel essentially is what you is you have to understand each side of the sales funnel and for many of you startups the brand awareness is going to be where you have to start and introducing and understanding people don't know who I am. They, you know, I don't have that established brand. I'm not this big agency. I'm not doing all this. So I think investing in that, uh, solving people's problem, uh, uh, apply or giving them what they need, giving them the information that they need, uh, is something that is going to be really important when you're trying to draw leads to you. Uh, you know, once you can provide that solution to their problem, provide their, uh, solution to their needs, you can kind of start the, okay, I got the awareness. Now I can start going into the next part, which is, you know, providing the case studies, you know, maybe saying, Hey, you want to download an ebook or, you know, would you like that free SEO audit? Yeah. You know, things like that. All right. And then you've established, okay, you know, they know who you are. They know what you do. They know that you're, you know, you provide that value, yeah. uh, that you're a real and, and saying on what you're doing, uh, you know, they can make a commitment to you and then you can get to them signing on to you. Yeah. And that's a great, that's a great point. The other thing, uh, companies that do great with that is like HubSpot. Oh, HubSpot's fantastic. Uh, they're amazing. Yeah. And, uh, I think you recently got your certification. With HubSpot, Man, I'm right? doing, I'm going through all of their certifications. <laughs> I'm telling you it's good stuff. I just, they just came out with their content marketing certification. I had the inbound one for a while, did the email marketing ones, a lot of good, great stuff. You know, some of it, you might have all the information you might have already known, but uh, they really do a good job of it. They just came up with their content marketing. Uh, Sujan Patel and some others kind of put that on. Great videos, Very great cool. content. I think it's like an hour of videos and stuff like they break it up really well. And then you take a test. Uh, but yeah, just got that content marketing certification. They really go into understanding how how piece, certain pieces of content apply to each part of the sales funnel. Oh, nice. And it's it's really cool on, 
you know, having that brand awareness and then, and then really kind of traveling them down to the sales funnel, uh, all the way to nurturing them after they're your client yeah. and getting information from them through surveys and stuff like that on how you can better not only serve them, but future clients and meeting those. It's a great, great, uh, uh, resource and class. Uh, if you're, you know, interested in content marketing, I think there's a lot of misconceptions on what it actually is. And so if you really want clarification and really expand your knowledge, I would definitely go take, uh, take this class, just watch the videos and, and, uh, it will really help you out. Yeah. It's, uh, I think we need to take a word from our sponsor now or even up and coming events. The hard, whoops, lost it. Online PR is something every company should take advantage of because it creates buzz around your business. Press releases are a great way for your company to announce new product launches, company milestones, new partnerships, or even up-and-coming events. The hard part is knowing which press release distribution service to use that has an effective distribution at a price that fits your budget. Well, I have the answer. For as little as $39, PRunderground.com guarantees your press releases to be on Google News, DigitalJournal.com, social media outlets, and an additional 50 websites and blogs. PR Underground was ranked number two in user satisfaction out of all the other press release sites by G2 Crowd. This is one of the tools I recommend you add to your marketing tool belt for PR, marketing, and SEO at a price any company can afford. Go to PRunderground.com. That's P-R-U-N-D-E-R-G-R-O-U-N-D.com and send out your next press release. Enter the code Search Talk Live and get twenty percent off your first press release. Yes, that's PR PR Underground guys. Yes. Check it out. Check out PR Underground. Uh, we are also sponsored by the Robert Palmer family of companies. Yeah. You can go check out Robert Palmer Companies dot com. Check out everything they have to offer. But uh, you know, we talked a little bit about PR Underground last week, last show. Yeah, and they said uh, you know he had used it a lot and, mm-hmm. and really loved it. So it's definitely something you should uh, should check out. Very cool. Once again, if you want to get your questions in, comments, concerns, whatever it may be, you can use hashtag Search Talk Live on Twitter. I am monitoring that right now. Uh, we'd love your questions or comments. Get them in. Uh, but, yes, we were talking about generating leads. Um, um, one thing I wanted to add to you, what you said a while ago yeah. was that, you know, do the old classic white paper thing. Oh, man, yeah. Um, if you've got people that are looking for SEO work and they're just trying to dive into information – Having something like that on your informa- on your website, you know, say, hey, you know, grab this new, this right. 10 ways to rank number one yeah, on Google. Man, I mean, just of, something like that. a lot that, of great you know? stuff to use. Look, training videos, yeah. uh, free trials, ebooks, white papers, yeah. uh, you know, long tips. You know, do something where you have to get their, in- they have to give you their information to get it, download it, stuff like that. Just get their email, phone number, whatever it may be. Uh it's a great way to provide some value, get mm-hmm. their information. That way you can get them in the process, in the funnel process. Uh, one of the sites I love and the tools I, I love for this kind of thing is Unbounce. Yeah. Unbounce.com. Awesome. If you're like, well, I can't, I don't know. Landing how to pages. This, man, stuff. landing pages yeah. and stuff that you can incorporate in your site. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is, you know, it is, it, yep. it's, it fits right into your mold, whether you run or run, want to run ads to that site or, you want to incorporate it in your site using a site like Unbounce where they can come, enter in their email address. You can set it up where it's a form. They download a PDF version or get the free trial. And it's easier, it than, it's easier it's easier than WordPress. I mean, it's drag, it really, it can drag, be drag and drop. And drop. Man, <laughs> it, it is sweet. Here's I've seen a lot of cool stuff with it. Uh, I love the tool. It's fantastic. Um, but, yeah, it's an easy thing to get set up with. I forgot how much it is a month. I don't think it's very expensive. No, it's cheap. Yeah, for what they offer you, uh, and they have their own templates on there. It's great stuff. But this this is just stuff where, like, if you're really gonna engage with with potential leads, if you're really yeah. gonna start that relationship, you know, you're gonna need their information. But to get that information, you can't just come and ask, you know, for somebody to sign up for your services. You know, give them something in return. And those those things, like you said, the the webinars and the training and the white papers and the mm-hmm. ebooks, uh, I sign up for them all the time. I do. I think one of the, I sign up for Neil Patel's whenever he sends something, man, I sign up for it. Sujan, both guys we've had on the show. Yeah. Uh, you know, I sign up for their stuff all the time because they're giving me something very valuable. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Very valuable. And, uh, 
the first thing I signed up with Sujan was his, it's a hundred days. It's actually really cool. I need to post this link. I read it all the way through. It's a uh, hundred days uh, to, for a startup, like what they should do in their first hundred days. It's one thing every day, or it's like two or three things every day, really cool stuff, but it hit on the stuff you talked about on brand yourself. You yeah. know, you need to, you need to brand yourself, have your t-shirt on, or if somebody signs up for your stuff and you get somebody's information and you can send them a t-shirt, send them a t-shirt and say, Hey, you know, for, uh, whatever, take a po- photo of yourself, put it on uh, social media yeah. of it using this hashtag, you know, stuff and promote it and stuff like that. You need to start engaging them as much as you can. And that hundred days for a startup is it's a really cool document. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, the, um, let's see, what else was I going to say about that? The, uh, I mean, it's just, it's really important. I mean, especially if you're doing local stuff, get out and do events. If you, if you've got the budget, go out and rent a, a 10 by 10 space at a, you know, a, a, any event that might be going on a charity or something like that, just to get your name out there um, and be prepared, especially if you're just starting out to occasionally do some pro bono work. Yeah. You know, if it's for a charity or something like that, those things like that will get your name out there. I mean, they'll, word of mouth is wonderful when you help out with charities or, or something like that. You know, if a charity needs some web work to their website or right. something. Right. I mean, really, <laughs> when it all gets down to it, Robert, I think you just, you have to be where your audience is. Sure. And you, you just have to be constantly aware and engaging. Uh, and it's, it's a lot easier. Uh, easier said than done yeah you know it it really is whether it's through facebook whether it's through linkedin linkedin is a big tool i think that a lot of people don't especially startups and and freelancers and consultants don't necessarily use to their full advantage uh i think i saw a statistic that uh 44 percent of b2b marketers have generated leads via linkedin uh where it is only 39 percent through facebook and 30 percent through twitter and so linkedin they have their communities they have their groups uh, and stuff like that, you know, be where those groups are. If, yeah. if there's a group for, you know, if you do local SEO and there's a local business group that, just, that all they do is talk about, you know, marketing or needs or sales, whatever it may be, be a part of that group. And like <laughs> I said, be the smartest person in that group, providing mm-hmm. the most value and engage, engage, engage. Yep, absolutely. Now, here's another tool I'm going to share with you guys that is my kind of a, my secret stash type of thing i don't know if that's the right words but um and i'm going to tell you a little story before i get into this where i work there's another agency and they were they're kind of fresh fresh and new um i didn't really realize how new until after i spoke to them but i i showed them and i even contacted spy fu and told them this because i just felt all kinds of warm and fuzzies afterwards (laughs) (laughs) but uh the i i this guy is like, Robert, what is the best way to get leads? One of the things that I, a tool that I've, you know, and I've already mentioned this tool earlier in the show, but SpyFu is amazing for the price and everything else. And I'm not, they're not paying me to say this or anything like that. Um, I went to this, this agency when he approached me about this, I said, here, look on SpyFu. There's a thing called uh, list building. Now, what you can do with this tool <clears throat> is quite amazing. Um, you can go in and search for an industry, a web, uh, you know, if a website's, let's say the technology is Flash, mm-hmm. uh, if you're a web developer, you can go in and type for, say, look for all websites on the web that are built in Flash. These guys need new websites because they ain't ranking for sh- I mean, nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. So there's your prospect. It's going to give you the list builder. And then there's a uh, top, I'm sorry, not the top list, but the uh, business leads. So when it pulls down this list of all these websites that are in Flash, you click on the lead. I mean, you click on the the website that it gives you, one of the, in the list. Then it Bam, it opens up into an overview of everything on that website, what they rank for organically, how much they're spending on pay-per-click, um, just every single thing you can think of about that business and what happens there. What is that, Caleb? 
It's a prospect. Right, exactly. <laughs> so um, it also gives you their phone number, their email, all that information. And you try to, I mean, if you're just doing local stuff, just call these people. Don't send an email. I mean, you can send an email. I mean, Caleb, you're you're pretty good at word smithing things and making <laughs> things sound good. Um, but for the most part, emails go ignored. Reach out to these people. Give them a call. Hey, I see you guys are your websites in Flash. You know, you know to talk about algorithms. Hey, you know, Flash Google doesn't see these things. They can't index the pages. You're not going to rank ever. And I'm sure business is pretty bleak right now. <laughs> Uh, at least for your website, how would you like to increase that traffic? Yeah. Boom. Then go over to the, what is it, two tabs over, pull that report, meet with those people, and, it, I mean, it's a done deal. Right. I mean, it could be anything. You can you can search for, is the site um, mobile friendly? You can get tons of prospects that way. You can get, um, and I'm, I mean, literally, Caleb, I don't know if you've looked at this much, but the um the overview report excuse me i need some water um it gives you organic keywords they rank for have they you know how are they ranking it gives you how many are on the first page of each domain um and it gives you their competitors and what they're bidding on <coughs> they what they're bidding on keyword wise this is a tool that is perfect for agencies because you get the holistic view of every business. Right. Like I saw one the other, uh, what was it, three days ago. I pulled up the website and it's been hacked or it's been, uh, it's got a virus or something. Google has stopped people from going to it. They didn't even know. I called <laughs> them up and I said, hey, just uh, just to let you know, I don't know if you're aware of this. And I told them and bam, there's a client. You know, I can I can get rid of those viruses. I can fix your website, and I mean, it was also Flash, so they have contracted some <laughs> right some SEO work, but uh, and some website development. Um, but just little things like that. It's just the sky's the limit with this tool. Yeah, you can go any city. You can go by category as far as is. Are they a lawyer? Are they a plumber? Ah, um, uh, the plumbers. Yeah. Uh, those are good prospects. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you can go just about anything. You can go, okay, how many searches or how many visits they get a month? Um, you, the sky's the limit. Yeah. Um, and you can help a lot of these people. And usually, either their website, you know, I, I, the category I did for Flash is a great prospect because every single one of them people need new websites. And at the same time, they can get SEO when they're building their website. And it just goes on from there. And then, hey, how about some PPC? <laughs> right, <laughs> you know? yeah. It's just, uh, here's the sky's the limit. I recommend that you check out uh, SpyFu because that right there, trust me, it pays for itself in the first few days of using it. You just got to familiarize, familiarize yourself with the reports. Um, that especially that's that recon report because that's huge. Yeah. I mean, that's going to help you sell the deal in the first right. place. Um, I need some water. I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. So some people at Robert out there might be thinking, all right, that all sounds well and good and I'm doing all these things. Um, but nothing's coming. I'd like to kind of dive into a little paid advertising, but I only have a teeny teensy budget like i got a little wiggle room so what would you say where should they start is it going to be okay well i need to dive into facebook because that's going to be the cheapest um but you know unsure of the roi you know okay adwords i hear i gotta have a big budget for adwords can i do some linkedin advertising where should they start i don't think you necessarily need a big budget for adwords yes it's ideal but um if you small, if you start a really small campaign mm -hmm. with maybe two, three keywords in it, you can do pretty good. Um, but I would recommend starting out with Facebook if you're going to do online advertising. Uh, it depends on where you're at in your in your uh, business. Yeah, I mean, if it was me, I would hire a salesperson 
mostly on commission. Give them some kind of a salary, obviously, because you want to make them hungry. Go out and get leads. <laughs> right, right. But uh, show them how to use SpyFu, or actually you do it, and then just say, hey, here's a lead. Go out and sell it. Because you can focus on the important things of the business as far as clients and that type of stuff. But a salesperson can spend all his time going out and seeing these clients. And once they know the reports and the pitch, <coughs> which is not really a pitch. Um, and I, I, I personally like to go out with a salesperson, but because I'm passionate about the whole thing, you know, right. so yeah. and they can feel that when they, when you're, you're talking to them yeah, and you, you give them all the details, the information. And the one thing that, uh, is important is just be straightforward with your clients. Don't feed them a bunch of bullshit because they'll 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 know you're doing it. Beep. Yeah, you, yeah. Mr. Sorry, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Beep I mean, like, in, like... <laughs> don't go in and tell them they need a new website when they don't need a new website. Right, they just right. need optimization or or, yeah. or conversion optimization or something like that. Yeah. Um, and, but this, the crazy thing is, there's a lot of people out there doing that. Oh yeah. They're like, okay, well, you know. Uh, they don't need a new website. You know, maybe if we just optimize the the page titles and the meta, and you know, rework the content, it would it'd help them out tremendously. Oh, yeah. But they're telling them, "Die, you need to wipe these. We need to com- you know create a whole new pages and all this kind of stuff." Don't be that person. You know, don't be that person. But like you said, a tool like SpyFu, or you know, if you can provide that hardcore data, that's where you set yourself apart. If you can provide the data and provide the roadmap. And, you know, you establish yourself, not only do you build that trust, you know, you, you're setting yourself apart from all these people that are just kind of throwing something on a wall, hoping it sticks, or they have that kind of, you know, it's our way or the highway kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's other tools out there. There's not just spy food, but I think. Yeah, we keep harping on that, but there's Yeah, more. I mean, Moz is great. Yep. You want a really good reporting tool to, or reports to give to your clients if you're doing social media and all this other stuff. Raven Tools is really good. Raven Tools, fantastic. Moz, yeah. I have to give credit to Moz. Their Keyword Explorer, what they're doing with that tool oh, yeah. is um, freaking amazing. <laughs> it's freaking amazing. The fact that you can look at the SERPs and see you know who's ranking for it right now. Uh, what the opportunities are there, how competitive it is, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's 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 crazy. I'm fully impressed with it. Yeah, um, they they've done a good job over there, and yeah. all the people over there are just yeah. I know Rand's listening. You know, Rand, good stuff <laughs> over there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> good stuff. We got to have him back on the show soon. Absolutely, absolutely. But uh, I mean, there's all kinds of reports you can do. Like if you want to do, um. You know, something with social media, maybe, uh, I know Moz has still got it, uh, but they're, I hear they're trying to sell it, but Follower Wonk is a great thing to do research on. Um, BuzzSumo, Follower yeah. Wonk? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, I don't use BuzzSumo that much because I don't do a lot of content marketing, but- what, I love BuzzSumo. Content marketing with BuzzSumo. You find those influencers, uh, you can create that list uh, and just reach out to them and, you know- Based off, you know, if if you're coming up with a piece of content or you have an awesome piece of content, you can find those people that are that have shared, engaged with content that's very similar to yours, uh, and it's an excellent way to, it's good in, to f- introduce yourself, and, you know, and, and get with them. Be like, hey, you know, I, I see that you you really like this piece of content. You know, you shared it, you engaged with it, and stuff like that. I have something similar along the same lines, or something that you know, even if you did something contradictory to it. And like, hey, you know, I had a differing opinion on it. Can you tell me what you think? Yeah. You know, stuff like that. But like I said, it, like we've said before, if you're going to reach out to somebody, you can't just shoot them something. Ask them to do something yeah. with it. You know, hey, you know, if you like this, please share it. Or, you know, if you like it, you know, or, hey, it's a great resource. I see you're linking to other resources. Yeah. You know, would you mind including this one as well? Ask them to do something. Can't be shy with that. That's a good idea to find, you know, topics to talk to, to write yeah. about. I actually had, uh, and a good thing, I had a on Twitter uh, something, somebody in, uh, and I won't use his name or anything. It was actually about 10 minutes ago he reached out to me. Uh, earlier today, he said, hey, I realize that you're, you know, tweeting a lot of stuff or retweeting a lot of stuff on this topic. I actually created an ebook for it. You know, would you mind if I emailed it to you to, through Twitter? Yeah, I'm interested in that topic. Go ahead, and, go ahead and send it to me. You know, I thought that was a really good way of doing that. That's just one example. You know, he's paying attention to what I'm doing, what I'm sharing. 
uh, I wouldn't call myself an influencer per se, but, uh, you know, he sees that I'm really, you know, I'm diving into this industry and in this topic. And so he wanted to kind of share with me his thoughts on it. And, uh, that's a good way of doing it. That's a great example right there. Yeah. Sparta asked a question. What is the site? I missed it. Um, it's spy It's S P Y F U. I'm not saying F U, yeah. but I'm saying sp- S P Y F U <laughs> dot com. Yeah. Uh, great tool. Fantastic. We've had, um, uh, but I never got to my point, what I was saying about that agency down, uh, you know, bias. Anyway, I showed him how to use the tool. I showed him how to use the report. He went in and literally 48 hours later came back to me and said, oh, my God, Robert, you're not going to believe this. I'm like, what? He says, I found a lead from the, the, the um, lead generating site where you find the leads called the client, went and saw him the next day, wrote the deal for SEO PPC for 30 grand a month. I'm like, that's a nice, uh, I get 50%, right? Nice <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> if without me, you wouldn't have yeah, got <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. On that. Yeah, no, but literally $30,000 a month. I'm like, holy cow. Yeah. And it turns out the funny thing is, is I hope he's not listening, but he wasn't he's just learning adwords right (laughs) so i had to build the campaigns for him and everything else and i'm like oh wow okay anyway but still yeah hey i feel good the power of information that's right power of information that's awesome uh great question if you want to get your questions in you can use hashtag search talk live on twitter we are monitoring that uh one of the things that i kind of want to touch on that has been uh effective for me and is Uh, I've done a lot of guest posting over my career in the industry Mm -hmm. and it's actually helped generate leads in the fact that uh, providing a a guest post or content on a, on a, especially if you're just starting out on a website that already has a large audience Mm -hmm. and you're able to establish yourself as an authority on their site, obviously because they're putting your content on there. And it provides value for people and it's on a specific, you know, topic and everything like that. Even if you just have your brand in the bottom written by Kayla McKelvin of Mm so-and-so, you know, internet marketing and all that kind of stuff, you know, maybe you don't want to invest. Of course, you need to be writing content for your own site. But if you're able to go out and really get your name and your content on these high authoritative blogs that already have an established audience, you're just increasing your reach right there. Uh, and it's something that I, I think a lot of startups, a lot of individuals trying to build their own brand uh, kind of need to invest some time in, do some outreach, uh, and and do some guest blogging on some of these sites um, that have that audience because you're just increasing your reach and your potential to start engaging with a potential client um, and having them come over to, you know, start engaging with your content and your website and your social media, but you, it's a great way to get your foot in the door and kind of piggyback off uh, those sites that already have that audience. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, I mean, those, those are some great tools. I mean, to, to, to have in your toolkit, so to speak. I mean, those, I mean, did you have any other ones as far as uh, content writing goes? As far as what? Prospecting, getting leads from content marketing. Oh, yeah. I mean, guest posting was a big one and invested in that a lot. Uh, content marketing was a huge one in the fact that, okay, I really sat down and looked at, you know, as far as either whether it be local SEO or just search engine optimization in general or paid advertising. Yeah. What are the needs? What are people asking? And that's why I use sites like Quora and stuff like that. What are people asking? Haro. And Haro, Yeah. Uh, what are people asking? What information are they starving for? And can I be that resource? Can I provide that? And that's how I kind of really mapped out my content marketing strategies. Mm -hmm. I I said, okay, I'm going to sit down and, you know, I'm going to really write content that's extremely valuable. I know we use 10x content and, you know, high quality content and all that stuff, but it is true. It has to be high quality. It has to be 10x, has to be valuable. Sit down and really Okay, here's what people, whether it's a keyword or whatever, here's how people are searching for that. Here's how people are looking for this information, and here's what they're asking. Now, here's the type of content I'm going to provide to be that resource. And it's very valuable in the fact that, you know, people find it. Yeah, it's not necessarily, I'm not asking for anything, but I'm introducing myself. I'm 
establishing that brand awareness. And now I can start after they've engaged with my content and they liked it, whether they want to sign up. And like a one thing we need to touch on is if they come to your site, you need to have a way to capture their information, whether it's they sign up for your newsletter or something of that information. Don't just leave them, let them come on your site and leave, Yeah, you know, without providing their email address, whatever it may be, you know, and it's, you know, have them provide their information in some way. But, you know, I really sat down and said, okay, I'm just going to be a resource at first with my own content. Worked out very well in getting people to come to the site, engage, give me their emails. Okay, mm-hmm. now I can kind of start an email campaign with them, providing my latest content. You, you know, maybe I, now I can provide that SEO audit, you know, include that in one of my emails, being like, hey, you know, this this week I'm providing uh, a free SEO audit audits. Come here, you know, enter your website to get your free SEO audit, stuff mm-hmm. like that. And then guest blogging was a huge one. I'm not going to say that I got a thousand leads from it. Right. But, you know, I write a guest post on a really high authoritative site that gets all this traffic and I get 10 people that click on, you know, come to my site Mm -hmm. and then start engaging with my content. That's huge. Absolutely. And now, now I can say, well, okay, well I've written for this site. I've built my authority that way. I've reached a new audience. I got people to engage with, come to engage with my content. I mean, it's a win-win across the board. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, not to get off topic. I mean, we got about 10 minutes of the show, but yeah. I did want to bring up, I got shirts with Search Talk Live. And if anybody, if you wants to order them, they're polo shirts with, uh, with, uh, yeah, our uh, logo. embroidered logo on it. I'm going to sport that at, um, uh, PubCon. Yes. Very cool. Yes. I'm pretty psyched about that. That's going to be awesome. First merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. Order your Search Talk Live t-shirts. Yeah. Or polos. We have uh, Caleb's face on the back. and Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I don't know kidding. if you want, especially with this beard. I know everybody can't see me, but I kind of look like Santa Claus right now, which my wife completely hates. And she said she was going to listen to the show today, so I'm going to test her. Ashley, uh-huh. if you're listening. Love you, baby. Give her a keyword. To yeah, mention. right, right. Yeah. Mention the keyword. <laughs> Search talk live. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah. uh, she's at home with our four month old. Yeah, who's driving us crazy. But that's another topic. So anyway, I hope that helps you guys. We've got about what seven? Yeah, about eight minutes. Eight minutes. Seven, yeah, eight right, minutes. right. David's yeah. over there shaking his head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, those of you who are interested, we we are looking for sponsors for the show. We do have a couple right now. Uh, one being prunderground.com. And if you put in the, the code for 20% off, you get, you type in search talk live and send your next press release and get 20% off. Yeah. Uh, not to be, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we are looking for sponsors. We are also looking for guests. If you are awesome in what you do, um, that's my keyword, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> and we have had some of the most amazing people on this show. Yep that we've met through Twitter and just being leaders in the industry. And uh, we really want to thank you for that. Um, Did you have anything else you wanted to add on Legion? You know, uh, to kind of wrap (laughs) things up, here's how I would invest my time. If I was just getting started is I would really create a, an awesome content marketing strategy that, and that really understands the sales funnel and the process where you can nurture someone all the way through that process And have that mapped out. Have the, you know, here's how we're going to introduce our brand. Here's how we're going to tell our story. Okay, now here's, uh, uh, we're going to give them something and ask them for something. Really understand how you're going to nurture that, you know, uh, develop that brand awareness content. Uh, then have that, you know, okay, we're going to put an ebook together. Or we're going to put a resource together that's going to provide value for them, that they're going to have to give us their our information, but nurture them through that. Uh, and then, uh, you know, you haven't established your authority necessarily. You don't have that big brand where people, you know, recognize you and know who you are. So use other resources through guest blogging. Use other resources, uh, you know, through Hero, where you're uh, uh, you're being quoted or you're providing the content and uh, you're building your authority that way. And then be where your audience is, whether it's in Quora whether it's uh, any other type of forum, uh, website, whether it's any other type of blog, be where your audience is, whether it's LinkedIn groups or Facebook groups, be where they are and, and be the smartest person there. Provide the most valuable there uh, and, and, and really engage with that. And that's kind of how you have to start off, I think. Uh, and then you can work your way through that. But if I was advising somebody to get started, 
I think that would be a big part of it. Yeah, and invest time in creating that, like I said, the presentation. Yeah. Because getting the leads is, to me, is the easy part. It's selling them on the idea of you and your business and what it's going to do for them. Yeah. That, once you've got that down, you're golden. Yeah. Oh, and I also just found out if you do want to get Spy Fu, the discount, when when we had Michael Roberts on, the founder of Spy Fu, he, uh, they left the discount on the the link. So I'm going to put it down in the comment section of yeah. Sprecher. Check it out. If you guys want to get that. Check it out. And I would say, uh, I know we've talked about Spy Fu, if you want to learn about more about content marketing, telling your story, building your brand, uh, check out that HubSpot Academy. It's HubSpot Academy. They have all this stuff that you can learn from email marketing to content marketing to inbound marketing and lead generation and sales. Uh, very cool stuff. Check it out. Yeah, absolutely. Now, um, let's see. What do we got next week? Oh, we got, we got, uh, dang it. I wasn't ready. <laughs> we weren't Look ready. that up while I'm talking. I got you. I got you. <laughs> all right. But uh, next week we have an awesome guest. And I can't remember the name. I'm pulling it up. Francois. Francois. Oh, I, I cannot pronounce that last name. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Uh, I don't want to. Gobe. Okay. We'll go with that. <laughs> G-O-U-B-E. Yeah. Francois. CEO of OnCrawl will be on our show next week, next Tuesday. Yeah. At 3.30 Eastern Standard Time. We hope you can join us. This has been fun, Robert. We it haven't has. done just you and I in I've a long it. time. We just kind of had a conversation here. I hope our listeners enjoy it. I hope uh, they got something from it. Yeah. Just, I mean, I've been in this business for 14 years. God, it's, I'm old. God, you are old, man. <laughs> Jeez. And it's just so many. I wish I had these things when I was going through it. I did have to an extent, but it was all bad advice. <laughs> yeah. No, and, uh, and you know, we, uh, we're just Not telling you. Yeah. You know, we're just, we're talking about our experiences, how we've done things, our suggestions, uh, and, and what's worked for us, maybe what hasn't worked for us. Uh, if you have anything that has worked for you, you want to share with our audience, yeah. please do go use hashtag search talk live, man, uh, share with our audience, you know, Hey, this has worked for me. Here's what I've done. Maybe you have a resource, uh, share it. We would love to uh, check out what you got, uh, because different things work for different people. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've established kind of some core fundamentals for you, uh, in today's show. Uh, which we hope, it, and if you did miss any part of today's show, please go. We tweet it out after. You can go to searchtalklive.com, previous shows. It'll be up after 4.30 Eastern Standard Time when we go off air. You can go check it out there, download it on iTunes, check it out on Spreaker. Uh, but, yeah, you can check that out right for the show. Yeah, another thing I wanted to mention and I forgot to mention in the beginning is if you want to keep your client for long term, educate them. Ooh, Make yep. sure they understand expectations in the beginning of what you're going to offer them setting expectations and hit every one of them or exceed every one of them. Yeah. Don't oversell something that you can't do or cannot deliver on. Yep. Cuz if you under or how do you say it? Anyway, <laughs> what I was going to say is make sure you over deliver. Yeah. Don't don't over Don't promise it. something. Yeah. Don't don't write it I'll say this. <laughs> this is what we'll end the show. Don't write a check your butt can't cash. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Those of you listening, we're going to be on next Tuesday, 3.30 to 4.30 Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to hit email us with your questions. Yep. Go to Search Talk Live. You can get uh, previous episodes of the show, or you can go to Sprecher, either one. Um, you can also sign up for our newsletter so you can get the latest and greatest news on what's going on with Search Talk Live. Yep. Um, we only have three more shows left. So Wow. Yeah, for the year. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Yeah. Three more shows. And we are That's out nice. next. Is it next? Yeah, next week we're not doing the show. Is it uh, next week? Uh, We're doing the show next week. The following week, I don't think we're doing it. Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving, no, it's yeah. the following week. Something yeah. like that. I don't know. So we're going to be out for a week, but we'll be back. <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to be out for three weeks during December. We'll be back in January with a Man. whole new lineup of guests. We've already got a January book just about. Yep. Um crazy super excited we're gonna do trying to do some new things with the show maybe do some video or yeah. something like that and maybe do a little more of us talking man I, I think we should because we should. i really enjoyed the show today yeah. and i hope it uh helps a lot good stuff anyway guys we'll see you next week and have a good day yeah, see Bye -bye. you later
Search Talk Live is a presentation of the Robert Palmer family of companies.